Smartphones today have got a wide variety of lenses on the back. You get wide angle lenses, you get telephoto lenses, you even get lenses that are designed to take really good pictures in the dark. But what about a lens that gives you a macro feature? So it gets you really close to a subject. We can't get a smartphone like that at the moment, which is why if you want to do that, you get one of these. It's a macro lens add-on for your smartphone. And there's a choice out there. One of the most recent is this one from Oloclip, the Connect X, designed specifically for the iPhone X. And it's $100, so it's fairly pricey. These ones from Orki, which you can get through Amazon, uh, are either $20 or $30. And this one from Black Eye is about $40, a little bit under $50 thereabouts. So there's a considerable price difference between all of these three. And we've been having a go and you can see some photos that we've taken with all of these lenses to see the difference. But what we can't do in uh, photos very easily is show you the difference in the way that these things fit and the performance we were going to show you briefly with a little coin right here. So let's have a look at the Olo clip first and show you how this works. Um, like the Orki lenses, it actually comes with several different ones. You're not limited to a macro, but for the purposes of what we're doing here, it is just the macro that we're talking about. And to reveal it, you take off the fisheye lens here and there's a macro lens underneath. And then using this really quite clever clip, you clip it to the back of your iPhone like that. You can see it fits very snugly. So when we open up the camera and point it at our coin here, you get in super close and get that pretty impressive effect. And as you'll see in our test with the different photos, um, you really do have to have the right subject at the right time in the right way to get the best out of the Olo clip lens. It's not very easy to use. We're in really close, literally a centimeter above that coin to get that magnification. As soon as you come a little bit further out, there's no focus at all. It's very, very close indeed. So we take that off and we'll look at the black eye lens. These are, these are multi-device lenses. So they have these funny little clips on the back that you then clip over your lens on the phone like that. Go back to the camera and you can see we get an incredibly close view. But it's a different close up view to the Olo clip. We can get still incredibly close. We can also have a little bit more variation so that it still focuses a different length. And we're also not anywhere near as close to the subject as we are with the Olo clip lens. Again, it looks pretty great from there. So we take that one off. With the Orki lenses, we'll use this one here. You unscrew the larger wide angle lens to reveal the macro lens, again with one of these clips to go on the back. Now these are also universal and their fit is different to the black eye. You might be able to see there, this wraps around the lens. Now. There is a tiny bit of light leakage occasionally through here, depending on the circumstances with which you're shooting your photo. It's not all of the time. And although Orki says it's not designed for a dual lens camera, we've really had no problems at all using it. And again, you can see here, we're close to the subject. There's a variation in focal length, so we can get fairly close before it loses focus, but not quite as close as the black eye and nowhere near as close as the Olo lens. So that the effect is very different between all of these lenses. Yet advertised, the magnification level is the same. Magnification level is, oops, is 15 on here, 15 on here and 15 on here and 10 on this particular one. But the differences between them all are great. And you'll see in the images there, depending on what you want to capture, what you want to shoot, uh, one lens may be a little bit better than the other. 
Creatively, we've enjoyed using the black eye more than we've enjoyed using the hollow clip because it's much easier to shoot images that we want with this incredibly close up. For example, shooting up close with um, insects and anything that might move like a flower head is basically impossible on this because you're so close and the tiniest movement it looks incredibly dramatic on the screen. But because you're a little bit further away with this, but still close enough for that really cool macro look, it's much easier to use and you get a lot more opportunity to use it. The same can be said for the Orki lenses, which for their price, they're astonishing. You're paying a third of what you'll pay for this, yet you'll still get a very cool macro lens effect. Not quite as dramatic as the black eye, and obviously nowhere near as dramatic as that, but still fun and you get the addition of a wide angle lens on both if you want to try something different. So you can have a look at all of the photos uh, that we've taken with these lenses and see for yourself uh, which one you think you probably have more fun with out and about. We've had more fun with this one. We'd definitely like to know which macro lens you prefer on your smartphone. That's your choice for getting really up close and personal with your photo subjects, but still using a smartphone, not some expensive DSLR.